Yo what is up guys it's your boy coffee of PJVC back at it again for another video. So for today's video I'm going to give you some tips on how to increase your accuracy and improve your stats. These tips are both applicable for free to play players and spenders. And also if you're a spender it will also help you to maximize your diamonds to get a better progress. Alright without further ado let's start now on how to increase your accuracy. Number one that you need is to check your collect. Let's go to collect. In collect, you can go to filter and select the accuracy that you need. So here it is. So if you have a melee character, you should check this box. PVE accuracy, PVP accuracy. But uh, take note, if you're still struggling on PVE like main quest and side quest, I would highly recommend to prioritize PVE accuracy first. And then after that, you can focus on PvP accuracy. And since you're a melee character, choose melee accuracy. And then it will just filter it out. And still the same with the range characters. Just go to filter, change the melee to range accuracy. That's it. At first, it will be difficult to achieve this collects. Most likely if you're a free-to-play player. But don't you worry, you can still farm these materials on field. All you have to do is click the materials and check the sources tab. But if you can kill the monsters that are in the sources tab, you can farm from lower mobs and gather materials, then sell it to diamonds on the exchange so you will be able to purchase the other materials that you need for the specific stats that you wanted. So example, uh, let's go to some lower mobs. Let's try to check here. So for example, you can't defeat this Bastium uh this dancer of forest since it's level 45 and you're like maybe 40 or something you can just choose to farm from other lower mobs you can get these materials also like this elderly uh, beard and then sell it on exchange then you can use that diamond to purchase other materials all right and the next thing is the night crows gears Everyone can have this, they give it for free, and this is what it looks like. This one. Night Crow's Claw Talisman and the Night Crow's Feather Brooch. But if you are trying to increase your accuracy, you may focus on this one since it gives us accuracy and basic damage. So where to get it guys? They give it for free in-game with some events and you can also buy it from store for 240 diamonds which is located here just go to the shop and night cross gear so this one so if you don't have diamonds to purchase this one you don't need to worry since you can farm from the field and sell materials just like this just click click any materials that are tradable and click this exchange then sell it it's like this so let's go back to the talisman this is the night cross claw talisman it gives you basic damage plus accuracy in my case, I am very unlucky for this one. I tried so many times but the highest enhancement that I could get as of now is plus 5. But still depends on your luck. If you could achieve higher enhancement, then you will surely get higher accuracy and basic damage. Now let's go to the Holy Relic. This Holy Relic, you can buy it from the NPC artifact located at the town. It gives you PvP accuracy. Oh, sorry. PvE accuracy. Still depends on how lucky you are. The more higher enhancement you can achieve, the higher PvE accuracy you can get. So, the other stuff that you can get accuracy, you can also get from the Amulet of Life, but uh, it's from the refinement. Okay, but still, it also gives accuracy, so you have to take note of that. And then, let's go to the accessories. Next is the accessories. These accessories gives a lot of accuracy, especially when you can craft blue accessories. All of these except the belt, alright? because the belt only gives us damage reduction so if you are trying to like push push through your main quest and side quest and other stuff uh, you have to focus on these parts like in my case i focus on crafting blue accessories like necklace earrings uh, and rings but if you're a newbie still try to get a green accessories with accuracy stats you can basically craft them and farm them or you can buy them from exchange so all you have to do is just go to crafting, go to accessory tab, and look for the specific accessories that you need that provides accuracy. But if you're trying to get a higher accuracy, you can try to craft blue gears. So all you have to do is just get some uh, ancient papyrus. How do you pronounce this? Papyrus or papyrus? Uh, this material is kind of expensive on exchange, but you can also get it from the guild shop. 
right now in our server it costs around 379 to 400 diamonds but in guild shop you can get it for 1000 guild contribution points each so every week you can buy five of this you can also farm this from the dungeon forest of draining you can farm it from here there is a chance that you might get the ancient papyrus and that's it if you can try if you can finish level 50 it's better then you go down for to 40 and 30 you just have to prioritize finishing the daily task of the force of training you don't have to finish that time but if you want you can still it also gives you drops like other stuff that you need for crafting uh like this one right this box it drops randomly from the mobs in the forest of training so you might be needing these materials to craft gears uh, like this quartz if you want to know the use of the material all you have to do is click the material and click the crafting material and everything will show up all right and now these are the bonus sources of accuracy the weapon style it depends on how lucky you are but even though you are using uncommon rare or epic or higher than that you will still get more some accuracy the higher rarity of course the better in my case i have epic uh, this one i got it from uh, by changing by advancing my class to second second advancement so it gives me 23 range accuracy range damage and some other stats at the bottom like you can check it from here it gives different stats so just check it out even though you're using blue it gives random stats it depends on the weapon style that you get and last but not the least if you're still lack of accuracy and can proceed with your main quest you may try to get some buff i'm going to show you this one every one of you might probably know this already but i'm just going to discuss it here so this drought of vigilance you can buy it from the gold shop it gives you basic damage plus three accuracy three defense three and damage reduction two so this buff lasts about for about 30 minutes use it to increase stats for 30 minutes and this one costs 25,000 gold. And also we have uh, this one, Drought of Victory. Uh, use it to increase stats for 10 minutes. This one kind of costs more since it's only 10 minutes. and But it gives you 4 accuracy and 4 defense. It will help you a lot by progressing with your main quest or side quest. Or trying to grind with a higher level of mobs. And also, uh, yes, this one. Since I'm a range, I'm gonna get the creams too so this one gives range damage range accuracy and additional hp regeneration and mp regen and for the other one uh mine is already empty like i don't have any of this one anymore but it's still the same icon as this it looks the same but the color is yellow so it gives you accuracy also all right guys thank you for watching this video i hope it helps if ever i forgot some sources of accuracy please comment it down below so we can help each other on how to increase our stats and make our character stronger once again thanks for watching this video it's your boy coffee of pjvc don't forget to like and subscribe see you on my next video peace out